بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم today is tuesday march 31st and every tuesday inshallah i will be sending a short reminder to the community a very brief reminder for approximately 10 minutes and today i would like to emphasize one of the signs of allah azza wa jal we all had travel plans, as a matter of fact, at any given moment in the United States, in the air, on board flights, domestic flights only. There are approximately 61,000 people flying in the air. Uh, we all had travel plans. Travel plans have been canceled. Not only flights in the United States, but f airlines all across the world. Their airplanes are sitting on tarmacs. Sporting events have been canceled. The summer 2020 Olympics have been postponed until su summer 2021. Shopping malls are empty. Graduation ceremonies has, have been canceled, canceled or postponed. Hmm. Restaurants are empty. 78% of Americans are under stay-at-home orders from their governors. Uh, and the economy is projected to, be, to shrink by 34% in the next quarter, the second quarter of 2020. And all the plans that we had, we had spring plans for spring break, we had plans for summer. All those plans, all of them, uh, seem to be up in the air. We don't, they don't seem to be materializing anytime soon. This is one of the signs of Allah Azza wa Jal, that we plan something and Allah plans something and what Allah plans is what happens. Not what we plan. There's a hadith of Qudsi. Ya Bani Adam, anta turid, wa ana urid, wa la yakun illa ma urid. O son of Adam, you plan. You want something, and I want something. Allah Azza wa Jal is saying, I want something. Wa la yakun illa ma urid. And what I want is what will happen, not what you want. It shows the power of Allah. It shows that Allah is in authority. Allah is, this is His domain. This is His dominion, and Allah has the ultimate power. We can plan as much as we want, and we could be the best of planners, and we could have all the logistics properly in place. But when it comes to execution of the plan, the plan might fall apart. And that is what Ali radiallahu anhu said, Araftu Rabbi bi fasqil azaim. I recognize my Allah by my plans falling apart. Recognize. I recognize that there is a power greater than myself. There is a power over and above all things because I have planned everything perfectly well. Uh, I have crossed all the T's. I've put all the dots. Uh, everything is properly planned. But then, but then when it comes to the execution of the plan, something goes wrong and it doesn't happen as I had planned or it doesn't happen at all. Araftu Rabbi, I have recognized my Allah through my plans falling apart, is the saying of Ali radiallahu an. Uh, this is how Ali radiallahu an recognized Allah azza wa jal. As a Bedouin said, al ba'ratu tadullu ala al ba'ir, a goat, the droppings of a goat prove that a goat was once here, crossed through this path. The droppings prove that a goat was here. Uh, everything points to Allah azza wa jal. This points how helpless we are and how much dependent we are on Allah Azza wa Jal and how independent Allah Azza wa Jal is. Allah basically pulled the plug. You know how you pull the plug? Allah pulled the plug. Uh, this is a new way of looking at March Madness. March Madness is usually in the connotation of basketball. But this month of March and today being the last day of March was a month of madness. Where was life taking us? Everyone is thinking, what's going to happen to me? What is going to happen to my plans? What is going to happen to the economy? How am I going to pay my bills? Uh, uh, these are signs from Allah Azza wa Jal. Yes. During the time of Musa alayhi salam, Allah Azza wa Jal sent signs to the, pe to the people of Egypt. وَأَرْسَلْنَا Quran says, وَأَرْسَلْنَا عَلَيْهِمُ tufan. We sent upon them the wind, the, the storm, the plague. وَأَرْسَلْنَا عَلَيْهِمُ tufan, uh, وَالْجَرَاد uh, وَالْقُمَّلْ And the locusts and the lice وَالْضَفَادِيَا And the frog وَالْدَمَا And blood. Ayatum mufassalat. These were clear signs. 
those who used to attend the Friday night tafsir of mine, they know very well about the signs of Allah Azza wa Jal and how time and again Allah Azza wa Jal speaks about the signs, signs, signs. These are from the signs of Allah Azza wa Jal that shows that no, we are not in control. No matter how much we like to believe that we are in control, we are not in control. Allah Azza wa Jal is in control. And that is why a believer says, Insha'Allah. That I have done the best of planning, but if Allah wants, it will happen. If Allah does not want, it will not happen. وَإِن لَمْ يَشَاءْ لَمْ يَكُنْ If Allah does not want, it will not occur. If Allah wants, it will happen. Insha'Allah. That is the importance. And this also brings an ayah of, my, an ayah of the Qur'an to mind. وَمَا يَعْلَمُ جُنُودَ رَبِّكَ إِلَّا هُ Only Allah Azza wa Jal knows of His armies. Humankind, countries, nations, they're accustomed to only three types of armies. One is, one is the air force, the airplanes, the F-16s. And the second is the navy, the submarines, the navy. And the third is the land. Air, water, land. These are the only three. There is no fourth type of force that any nation has. These are the three armies. Air force, navy, and land. Quran says, وَمَا يَعْلَمُ جُنُودَ رَبِّكَ إِلَّا هُ Only Allah knows of His armies. A virus invisible to the naked eye. All the world, all the world is helpless, utterly helpless in front of this invisible army. We hope, we hope and pray that the, the science community, the academia, the medical community, they come up with a vaccine, an antidote, and we, we pray to Allah Azza wa Jal that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala paves the way for them and makes it easy for them. But it shows that Allah Azza wa Jal, Allah Azza wa Jal, it, it, this is from His armies. Uh, and only Allah Azza wa Jal knows of His armies.